Alright guys, I, uh, I'm going to do a video on this cattle fencing. I'm really maintenance in the fence. I see a lot of guys in the Midwest, they don't run five strands of bob wire with a, with a stiffener in the middle. And I understand a lot of people got hot wire. And I'm a firm believer in hot wire. Like I, I believe in hot wire, uh, especially for all livestock. That's like a it's like almost a mandatory you know when you come in the next day that the cows are going to be in there if you don't have hot wire i highly suggest if you don't know what these are they're stiffeners for five strand bob wire they work perfect if you don't have hot wire like you see right behind me we got some corn growing here and they've already got in here on me once as you can see on this fence i don't have any of these stiffeners on this fence at all so that's my fault it's completely my fault and uh, unfortunately, this pasture right here, uh, I've got 17 head cows in here and probably 18 head of calves and plus the bull. So I got a lot of cows, a lot of cattle in here. So they burn up the grass pretty quick. And this is 40, high 40 acres. It's not 50 acres, but it's close. But, so, I just want to show you guys how I do this. These are just game changers for running five, five wide down through these fences for cattle. So, what I do here is, all these are, they're pretty simple. I don't know if you can see that. That's the end where you can hook a pipe or whatever you want to it. This is the end that goes over the fence post, or the, sorry, the bob wire. And it just easily screws onto there. Um, I see a lot of people having problem keeping their cows in on the, they just have bob wire like this and they even have a hot piece of hot wire in there. What happens is those cows, they see this corn, you know what I mean? It's nice and bright and green, it's tall, it smells really good. Well, they get to go on and sticking their head in through this, also through this grass in here. They'll get to sticking their head through here, getting that grass. Well, they'll keep doing it, they'll keep doing it. And then all of a sudden, cause they don't, I don't have one of this, these stiffeners on there they'll just pull this thing completely, they'll pull the staples out, and they'll just walk right through this. You would think that bob wire would tear them up, but it does not. Once it, it seems like once it catches some of their fur, it's like, it's, it's, it's like it turns into a tennis ball at that point. It doesn't bother them anymore, they slide right through it. They will go through this, especially when they're burning through grass. And we also put hay out, or I put hay out for them. Pretty much every other day, a full round bale, they go through it. But it's just, I want to put, put this on real quick, and I hope this helps a couple of the guys I've seen in videos having big, big problems with their cows getting out. And they get into this situation to where this isn't their cornfield. Luckily, this is my boss owns this cornfield. Unfortunately, this is some of the best corn that we have, so the cows kind of got into it for a couple days before I got them back into here. But I'm going to go ahead and do this, show you guys. Um, I do not know the pricing on these. A uh, farmer down the road passed away and gave this to me basically his son did because he knows that I, I do this for a living and these probably aren't cheap I can only imagine how much these are but I got like 50 of them for free and yeah he gave them to me but my boss man he helps me out so much more than I help him and I try my hardest to do as much as he does for me but I just I can't sometimes and he takes care of me pretty much not. anything I can do if I scrounge up and I find and it can help us on the farm here. I use it. I don't care if I paid for it or not. If it helps us, I'll use it. And my boss knows that too. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to quit talking so much. What seems to help me more when I do this is if you apply a lot of pressure to the bob wire, this thing will almost kind of act like a, uh, you got a drill in your hands with a screw. It'll, it'll sometimes twist on its end, but don't rip your staples out or don't bend the bob wire. Try to stretch the bob wire out because I know this is bob wire and it's metal or steel. It stretches every time it does. It gets weak. Just make sure when you're pressing down really hard that you don't just go straight through because it's a pain and you know what to get it back up out of the bob wire. Getting it down ain't really too bad. 
I get it up to dip the wood. My boss, I'm pretty sure he has that plane spraying one of his fields right now. It's probably not a great time for a video. And at this point, I grab the pliers when you get, when you're down four strands. There's probably a better method to this. There's probably actually a specific tool for this, doing this. I really don't get a lot of time to do fence work because we're so busy doing other things and trying to catch up with other things. So I'm really just in a hurry to get this done because I don't know when I'm going to get a phone call to take off and go somewhere else when I know that this needs done now. I should have done an example of really how loose this bob wire was before I did this video. Yeah, that's what my boss is doing, that plane in the background. He's spraying one of our fields. So yeah, that's it right there. It's five, five wide here is what we call it. And the Midwest is where I'm at. But as you can see, when they go stick their head through here now, not only do you have the staples on both sides, and we go wood, metal, wood on our posts. It helps when you're stretching, that wood will really help keep it. But now she's more or less got to pop this out. Um, I will tell you the calves, calves will slip through here. Regardless, I've seen them do it. They want to get through here, those calves, they feel the need to, they will. The cows, they won't though, on the other hand. This is how I do it. And uh, a tip for the old fence, when because I fix up a lot of these old five, five wide bob wire fences for cows take the staples just go ahead and if you see it's all stretched and laggy all the way like we're talking you know two three hundred yards and that fence is just doing that all the way go ahead do it the right way and go down through there and pop every one of them staples pop every one of them fastener wires to the metal post take the staples out of the wooden ones all the way down if you got cows in there you probably should just do one wire at a time I'll at least do two or three because I know I'm sitting, I can see all the way down through there. I'll pop all those tabs off and then I'll go, you know, 50 foot on a wood post and I'll stretch. About 50 foot is what I like to do. I know that people do it different ways, but it works for me. I do 50 foot, I stretch. I got, while I'm stretching the bob wire, I have a staple in my left hand. And I can go ahead and hold it with my right hand. I can pound that staple in. And then I go down through that 50 foot I just did and fasten all them wires and just repeat the cycle as you go down. It helps me. I, we have a lot of cattle here and I receive a lot of them and I gotta make sure that they're in. It works for me. Now sometimes I will get a cow that gets out. It hasn't happened in a long time, pretty much down here. And I'm getting pretty good at this. So I wanna just help, help somebody out that's having problems or seeing somebody that's not doing it this way. This is the most unbeatable. I'm telling you, I got a lot of head of cattle in here. And ever since I started running these, I haven't had any problems really at all. Majority of the pastures, I love to have a hot wire. A hot wire is almost just mandatory anymore, especially when you're in the Midwest. This is flat ground, this is black dirt. These farmers, these row crop farmers out here, they put their lives into these crops. So you don't want your animals getting out and turning into them. So I figured I'd show you that. I got. Another mile of fence to do, just to try to get it done by today. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video here. I gotta keep on going.